Hola, hola. Hola. Dicho, yo nos había preocupado. Fíjese que ah, pues nos ha sucedido a varios. Creo que fue problema de la plataforma, porque eh, a varios compañeros nos sucedió igual. Entonces, pero bueno, aquí estamos y vamos a, a iniciar en el tiempo que podamos hacer, porque no nos toca de otra, hemos, hemos perdido media hora casi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Okay, let me see what we're going to do. Ni los datos funcionaban, no sé qué sucedió. ¿A ustedes no lo sacó la plataforma? No, teacher. A mí no. Más bueno. Ni modo. Ok, the topic for today is vocabulary practice. Let me check out the attendance first. Vamos a revisar la asistencia. Ok. Uh, en lo que chequeo, uh, in, in, during the time that I'm going to check up the, the attendance, so please, you can start working in exercise number one that is called vocabulary practice. What you are going to do is just to find 10 words from the box below in the words search, and you got it there. Etiquette, guideline, fly, manner, regard, control, latecomer, behavioral, salutation, and subject. And as soon as you hear your name, just say hello, please. Okay, America Elizabeth. America. Present teacher. Okay, Amilcar. Hello, teacher. Cecilia Maribel. Present. Edwin Alexis. Present, teacher. Edwin Alfredo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Gabriela. Present, teacher. Gisela. Present, teacher. Hector. Ingrid. Hello. Okay, Jonathan. Jose Ernesto. Catherine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nat Natalia. Natalia. Present, teacher. Mauricio Antonio. Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Álvarez. Roxana Elizabeth. Present. Sara. Sergio. Janet. Present teacher. Okay. And Yesenia Lisset. Okay. Yeah. Let us start with that. Okay. Uh, let me see. You got. Uh, let me see. What is the word?
The last column teacher guidelines. Guidelines. The last column. Okay, the last column. Like comment. Like comment is there, okay? What else? Let us see where else we have it. <clears throat> Remember that uh, we need to find ten different words. Subject, subject. It's missing a letter right here. It's, it's missing the letter T. Salutation. Salutation. 11 col column. Right here. Salutation. Okay, what else? Which one is missing? The third one? Etiquette la marque yo, teacher. Oh. Is here. Ah, it's there, right, right here, okay. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go this. It's going to be better with this color. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, it's done. I need to raise so all. Okay, thank you. Let us continue with the next one, please. Okay, the next activity says choose five words from the word search and write a sentence per each. That means that you are going to choose five of these and you are going to create a sentence. Okay, do it now, please.
Okay, don't forget, as soon as you finish, you are going to share your sentences. <clears throat> Did you finish?
Okay, let me know if you have some. Finish, teacher. Okay. Let us wait a little bit for the rest of the class in order to finish. And we are going to start sharing the sentences. Finish, teacher. Okay, Edwin.
Okay, time is over, time is over. Okay, let us start sharing your sentences, please. I'm going to start uh, sharing the activity. In order to see your faces, like you can tell me, what do you have? So uh, I would like to see if all of you wants to do it. Can I start, teacher? Yes, yes, sir, you can do it. Okay. My be behavior at work is very good. I every day start punctual in my job. I am always polite with my mom and my dad. I practice good man manners every day. I am late comer to eat my dinner. Okay, thank you. And Maria wants to do it. The teacher. Okay, yes, do it. Yeah. I always try to be punctual. Uh, please be polite with your friends. Okay. I say I send your regards. Keep up the good behavior. She has good manners. Okay, thank you. Someone else. Someone else, please. Valentino wants to do it. Uh, me teacher, uh, I only create four sentences, but are the follows. Okay. Uh, be polite with your co-workers is necessary for a good work environment. When you are punctual, you show good etiquette. Clearly subject is important in, a, in an email. You should follow the guidelines of the company because it is growth at contract. Okay, thank you. Maria wants to do it.
two. Next, please. I am always like a poor. I am like a poor. Morning to my collapse. I had one class at work. I won't have a good day at work. I won't have danger at all. Time. Okay, thank you. So, I know what to do. Yes, press your hand if you want to share your sense, please. Hello. Okay, what about the rest? Hey, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I am always be punctual. I try to have an appropriate behavior when my, with my work co-workers. I am communicative with the needs of the clients and I agree Correctly and polite. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? Don't worry if, if you have only just two or three, you can share it. Okay, anybody else? Okay, let us remember some do and don'ts related with this. Can you see it very well? Yes. Yes, teacher, I can see. Okay, let us start talking about a scene you should never do at work. Do you remember uh, we were talking yesterday about this?
just remember this. No? I remember that I show you a list of complaining teacher. Ah, okay, complaining. Okay, what else? Okay, let us start with the, that one that you mentioned, complaining too much. Okay, I'm going to read it and later on somebody else is going to read it too. Okay, complaining is one, uh, one scene to occasionally express your displeasure with the way work situ uh, situation are being handled. But if you get into a routine where you're uh, ripping to your workers on a consistent basis, you better change your way. And the second paragraph says, uh, first of all, nobody likes a complainer. But more so than that, the more you mourn about the office, the greater your chance of saying something out loud that could get you into trouble. If you are having difficulty coping with your workload or dealing with a troublesome colleague, talk it out with your partner body or therapies and keep your cool while you're on the job. Okay, let us discuss these two concepts. Okay, let us start talking about the third one. What can you tell me about Hey, tell me. When we talk about complaining too much, it is one thing to occasionally express your displeasure with the way where situations are being handled. Una de las cosas que ocasionalmente se expresa es el, el no placer con la forma de cómo se está manejando alguna situación. Habla, me van siguiendo con la lectura. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok. Okay, and continue and say, but if you get into a routine where you are gripping to your co-worker on a consistent basis, you better change your way. Pero si usted ha caído en la rutina donde, eh, como quien dice, ya eso del complaining va demasiado profundo, Debe de buscar la forma de, de irlo cambiando. ¿no? Es la idea principal.
And the next one says, first of all, nobody likes a complainer. Ante todo, na, a nadie le gustaría alguien que se esté quejando, but more so than that, pero más que eso, the more you moan about the office, eh, entre más murmures sobre la oficina, the greater your chance of saying something out loud that could get you into trouble. De esa manera, eh, será más difícil el poder decir algo en voz alta y poder eh, como cambiar eso. Lo que va a hacer es meterlo en más problemas. If you're having difficult helping with your work uh, lot or dealing with a troublesome colleague, talk it out with your partner, body, or therapist and keep you full while you are on the job. What we are getting here is are just some suggestions in order to resolve this problem. We need to be careful about this. If we need to complain, okay, we can do it, but we need to look the way how we can resolve the problem. So, uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. If you have questions, just let me know, please. Questions? Okay, what about this one? Volunteer all the time going about and beyond the regular call of duty is a good way to get in your manager good grace and possibly even advance your career but one thing you shouldn't do is be the person who's constantly volunteering to take one more word or pick up other people slat not only with, uh, will you risk having other taste advantage that you potentially spread yourself to think at which point your overall performance might suffer. Okay, tell me, someone tell me something about volunteer all the time. What can you infer about this uh, paragraph? Just share it with the class, please. Me teacher. Okay, sir. Tell me. Going above and beyond the regular call of duty is a good way to get in your manager's good grace and possible, possible even advance your career. But one thing you shouldn't do is be that person who's constantly volunteering to take one more work or pick up other people's slacks. Not only will you risk having others take advantage, but you'll potentially, potentially spread yourself to thin, at which point your overall performance might suffer. Okay. Okay, what, what what we understand about this, number two. Teacher, what do you mean duty? Duties are uh, obligation, something that you have to do. That is the explanation that we you can find it here. Uh, some uh, the person who's constantly volunteering to take on more work or pick up other people slash. Uh, saying in Spanish, 
es como que hay eh, una persona, un departamento que no está produciendo mucho y viene alguien y voluntariamente dice, yo me voy a dar eso también para, para, para ganar puntos con, con las jefaturas, ¿no? Ok. A eso se refiere. And we need to have, be careful about it. Okay, what about the rest? I'm not prepared. Okay, someone wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Many office these days are adopting a, a casual dress code. And why that mean be good? For your comfort and guay, guayli, guay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? En wallet. Comfort and comfort and wallet. It also opens the doors to poor decisions, no matter how light back your office environment. Yeah. Environment. Environment. Might seem. Don't make the mis mistake mistake of wearing clothing that's to reveal traveling prepare or just plain lie un lie under it. The know. other teacher. Okay, hold on there. Hold on there. Let us let us uh, get familiar with some expression there. Okay, say so many offices this day are adopting a casual dress code. Muchas oficinas en estos días están adoptando algunos códigos de vestimenta. And while no matter how laid back your office environmental might see, no importa cómo se vea su oficina, don't make the mistake of wearing clothing that too reveal. Uh, read or just plain unblender. Ok, entonces, menciona que no cometa el error de usar ropa que sea demasiado reveladora, es decir, extravagante. And also, talk about read. Or just plain, I'm lander. When you see one word like this, this is a prefix, am. Um, and the original word that you can find it is lander. And this is with ed at the end. Un lander. You can infer the meaning. And do you know what is the, the, the meaning of uh, this word? This one? I don't know, teacher. What is the meaning of this word? Mm -hmm. Have you seen some genes? That is the uh, in the knees that some ribs. Algunos chines. Ropa que tiene eh, forma como de desgarro, ¿no? Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Si ¿Sí me comprenden. Yes, teacher. Ok, lo que generalmente tienen a uh, algunos en, en la parte de las rodillas, aunque hoy lo traen en todos lados. Yes. And you love it, you love it. No, teacher, I don't like. <laughs> ok. 
Okay, what about this word? What can you infer about this word? If you cross it out, this un, this is lounger. It look like the word laundry has to do with laundry, right? Just plain um lander. What is that? Tell me. Google it. I already mentioned a word that can give you some picture in your mind. Uh -huh. Yes, tell me. Hello. Es como sin lavar. Oh, okay, could be in that way too. But also we can get another meaning. También podemos tener otro significado porque antes tiene otra palabra, just plain and lander. For example, some dress and ladies look like just plain on lander on the back. How can I explain this? Let me see. Mm, bueno, en español. Así como algunos vestidos de las muchachas que en la parte de la espalda eh, Prácticamente no, 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 no les queda mucha ropa, ¿no? You got the, you got the picture, I guess. Okay. Okay, what about the second one? Along this line, a boy teacher with a potentially offensive language or slogans, you have plenty of opportunity to express yourself outside the office. And while it's one thing, you swap your dress slap or jean is another to the sport an outfit that blatantly yeah. expose your migrant. Okay, what else do we have here? Tell me. ¿Qué es lo que debemos evitar? Dice. Hello. The that t-shirts with potentially offensive language and or slogans. Oh, okay, we need to know exactly what is the meaning. Uh, if you are going to buy something uh, like a t-shirt, and uh, you need to know exactly what is the meaning of, of the the words that maybe have. And it's no appropriate to take uh to, to take it to your office, you know? Because we never know, maybe you can uh you can have a guest there that is going to speak English and is going to read it to and also say you have Plain opportunities to express yourself outside the office. That means that you can um, express your ideas, you know, out of the office.
at least uh, you got an agreement in your office that maybe the weekend you are going to dress uh, wearing jeans and a sketcher. That usually happens too. I, I have seen in some uh, bank. I don't know, what can you tell me about your experience related with this? Tell me. Awesome. It's up to you. A lot of new work, right? Okay, what, what about this this part? Do you know what is the meaning of the word blatantly? This one. No teacher. No? It is a I... new word. I share in, in Google teacher and and say descaradamente. Descaradamente, yes. Yes. Exposure mattress. What is what is that? Descaradamente muestra su qué? Su diafragma. Okay. Okay, you take uh, you can take a um, screenshot. Okay, what about this talk politics? Most of these environments lend themselves to non work related conversation from time to time, but while is it is okay. To rehash uh, your weekend plans or engage in some uh, bias for related brass uh, talk, bringing politics into the workplace is generally a bad idea, especially today. Not only are politics uh, as a personal matter, but discussion around them tend to get heated. And the last thing you want is to create an atmosphere of bad blood. Because you and a co-worker don't see eyes to eyes. So, in another word, we need to avoid talk about politics in our job. Okay, what else? Or according to your experience, what can you tell me about? Hello? Okay, let us switch a little bit uh, in order that you can relax. Hold on a second. This, we are going to continue with the next exercise. That's going to be number three.
Okay, hold on a second. Okay, let us continue with this exercise. That is going to be number three. Okay, exercise number three. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, would you mind, could you, what you are going to do is uh, identify and correct three mistakes in the request below. You need to read it carefully and as soon as you find it, you are going to correct them. Okay, let us do it now, please. Remember only three mistakes, no more than that. Let us do it. In the second is the first teacher. Because it's could you file this purchase order? Mm. No. Okay, I prefer that you uh, take your time in order to identify and later on we are going to share the information okay okay teacher Number four, teacher. Because okay. it's not okay, okay. good you mind. No, hold on, hold on a second. Okay, let us do the following things. Okay, yes, uh, identify the three mistakes and write them down in the right way. And we are okay. going to give like uh, five minutes in order that the rest of the class can identify too. Okay. And later on, we are going to discuss Porque si las decimos así rapidito, eh, los demás no se van a esforzar por encontrar el error. So, I ask you to uh, relax a little bit. And then later on you are going to share what you got, okay? Teacher. Hello. Tell me. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know if you can take a screenshot because I need to stop sharing. Or you can uh, you can watch it in your book too. Okay, so you can take a look in your material.
Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know. You can find it on page number 38. Okay, here we go again. Let me see. Okay. I guess you already can do it. Okay. Um let us see uh number one. Do you consider this right or wrong? For me, is right. Okay, would you mind moving? Uh, your car is blocking mine. Okay, you say it's correct. What about the second one? Somebody uh, wants to tell me. You could fill this purchase purchase order. Right or wrong? Okay, tell me, please. Hello. Oh, no, let me know what do you think about this. It's around the second teacher. Okay, the, it's, it's around the second one. Uh, how is the yes. right way? Cool, you? Uh, we need no, to just... Cool. Okay, could you fill this purchase order? Okay. 
I mean, this is uh, the mystery number one. Okay, number three. You start for right? How are you? Let us see. It's correct to say, would you send in this invitation to your assistant? Hello? Maybe teacher uh, the bear because would you send this invitation to your assistant? Mm, okay. Or something is missing. Yes, yes, sending. Mm. Okay, somebody else can give you a, give him a hand, please. For me, the the verb sending is is wrong. Uh, in this case, the verb should be in the base form. Okay, it's, it's another action. Would you send? Oh, okay. Somebody else, let, let us see what somebody else can think in a different way. Okay, let us let us see. Okay, tell, tell me, please. Any other idea for later with this sentence? Hola. Hola. Someone else, just tell me. Take a look. Would you send in this invitation to your assistant? And you can read number four too if you want. Tell me. What is the difference between three and four? Tell me. I gave you some, some picture. The difference between three and four, tell me. Tell me, please.
Okay, in another word, what is missing here in the number three? Is something missing or not? Hola. Okay, I, I got it. I think I got it. Uh, the word mind. Ah, okay. Read it in the right way, please. Would you mind sending this invitation to your assistant? Ah, okay, sound better. And retraction said that way too. Would you mind? You got it here. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry, but but you can see that sometimes it's difficult to identify all the mistakes. Okay, this one is a mistake. Okay. What about number four? Who wants to read it? Who wants to read number four? For me, teacher, could you mind ordering something to eat? Okay, it is right or it is wrong? Cool. Could you mind? Is is wrong. You say it is wrong. And take a look at the interaction that we got at the top. I think is right. Uh, okay. Based on the previous example, and also based on this, this is the combination that we are going to have. We already got an, uh, remember that we are going to find out only a city mistakes. We already got one here. We have another here. And where, where is the another one? We encontramos dos errores. We missed one. Where is it? Nos falta uno. ¿Dónde está? Let us identify. Someone else, please. Yes, 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 you can help. Someone else. Yeah, you can help each other. Number five, the bear is, uh, could be base form. Ah, okay. Bingo, you got it right here. And how is going to be the right way? And this one, we got a mistake. Okay, we already identified the same mistakes. Uh, how is the correct way to, to do it right here? It's come. Will you come out there tomorrow? We need to receive our best okay? Okay, tell me, what do you think about this exercise? Difficult for you or not? Only five, only confused. Five. <laughs> uh, just take a look, only just to identify three mistakes. Okay. Any questions so far from here? Any questions? Uh, no teacher. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, let us continue then. Um, well, I'm going to explain this, um, by the way, I, I need to tell you this. Of course, I know it's not your fault. Necesito decirles lo siguiente, claro, no es su culpa, not even mine, but uh, 
this cost of the internet services and even the platform about talking about soon uh vamos a tener que bueno desde luego con que se queden um completar el tiempo que nos haga falta porque de lo contrario si no hacemos el tiempo que nos haga falta nos va a tocar hacer una sesión extra yo creo que ustedes no van a estar en la disposición de que hagamos una sesión extra así es que I know that you have to do something as soon as you finish the class. Yo sé que tienen que hacer algo tan pronto termine la clase a la hora. But maybe some of you can save this section. Algunos podrán salvar la sesión porque uh, I need to complete the time, the right time in order to To keep in the right uh, order this section. Así es que I'm going to let you have your cup of coffee next to you, maybe. <laughs> Okay, por ahí está don José Ernesto Alemán García. Hello, sir. How are you today? Tell me. Good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Okay, let us continue with exercise number four. I'm going to share it with you. Okay, exercise number four. Say, select the most appropriate answer for the request below. Okay, you are going to look for the best uh, option. Just read it and you are going to decide if you decide letter A or letter B. And later on, we are going to compare with the rest of the class. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, later on we are going to read it too. Okay, if you want, you can take a screenshot. And you can continue working on this. So let us do it now. This. Alguien puede hacer una captura, puede tomar una captura, por favor, y lo comparte el grupo. Please, you can do it. Somebody, someone can take it and share it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you.
Okay, let us continue working on it. Let's... Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please.
Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, let me show it again. Where do we can resolve? Okay, let us start with number one. Who wants to read it? Hello. Okay, number one said, would you mind turning the light on? Uh, what is the right answer? No problem or yes, I do. Yes, I would, teacher. Mm, are you sure? Yes. Oh, okay. Somebody else can tell me something about this answer. For me, it's no problem, teacher, because uh -huh, he's okay, okay. Uh, turning. Okay. Okay. Tell us the reason why it's not. It's not yes, I could. For me, it's no problem because it's turning the lights on. Okay. But uh, there are another explanation. I gave you that. Hay otra, hay otra, um, hay, hay otra explicación que yo di también. Try to remember, try to remember, please. Okay, you say it's letter A, right? Yes. Okay, number two. Would you order something to it, please? Would you order something to it, please? Give me the answer. Give me the answer, please. For me, is letter B. Is pizza okay? Okay. What about the rest of the class? What can you tell me about? Okay. You say. This is for you, right? I'm going to take it that way, but later on we are going to recap. Okay, number three. Could you request more June paper clips, please? A or B, tell me. A or B. Hola, hola.
Could you add it, something to it? Okay, it's done. Okay, number three said, could you request more jumbo paper, please, please? Right away, or I could do it. Just remember what we talk about. Trate de recordar lo que vimos. But give me an answer, please. Give me an answer. For me, teacher, uh, letter B. Letter I B? I could do it. I could do it. Because he uh, do, do this. Okay, what about the rest of the class? What do you think about it? For me, letter A. Ah, letter A, okay. Tell us the reason. I remember the in this kind of questions, uh, it's not normally use the form, yes, I could, or yes, I could. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I remember I told you that and I show you in the next video too. Okay, that means that it's going to be this. Okay, what about number four? Would you mind getting 10 copies of the report? Would you mind getting 10 copies of the report? No, I wouldn't or in a minute. Tom. Somebody else, somebody else, please. Before we go, just let us do it. Let us resolve. I know that we are uh, all in time now, but we need to finish this session with the right time. So be patient and let us help each other, please. Okay. What about number four? Will you mind getting 10 copies of this report? Which one is the correct? Lola? Tell me, please. No, I couldn't, teacher. No, I couldn't? No, I couldn't. Mm. Excuse me? In a minute. Okay, you say in a minute too. Okay, let, let us see the next one. Excuse me, could, could you turn down the volume a bit? Which one is the answer? There will be teacher, no problem. No problem, no problem, okay. Okay, try to remember this uh, question. I need to stop chatting here. And I'm going to share the info that I show you related with this because uh, it's really important that you can remember. Hold on a second, let me show you that. I got you. I got you here. 
Okay, I'm going to share it with you. You have it here. Okay, right here. Answer to request with could you are not normally yes, I could or yes, I can. The expected answer are the action that are requested or short answer like the ones in the example above. Okay, ¿se entiende esa explicación? Dime. Hello. ¿En cuál página está, teacher? Let me tell you, page number 30. Really? Okay. Okay, go and look. It. But just tell me. And also, the same happened with, uh, with your mind. The expected answer for request with would you mind are not usually no, I could not mind, but are the actions that are requested or sure answer like the one in the example above. Right here. Okay. Questions. Ahora pregunto. Is that clear enough in order that you can use it or not? Hola, hola. Tell me, please. Um, okay, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up to finish. Okay, the same happened here. The expect the answer for request with good. You mind are not usually not. I would not mind. La respuesta esperada a la solicitud con would you mind no es usualmente como los demás, sino las acciones que son requeridas. So, let me know. Okay, let us switch a little bit before you can go. Antes de que se me vaya, vamos a hacer este último. I know it is late, you say que ya es tarde. It's not was my fault, not even you, no fue. Teacher, Hola. lo siento, teacher, pero yo necesito desconectarme porque igual sigo un poco mal de salud. Okay. Solamente que tengo dudas respecto a la plataforma. Eh, fíjese que yo ya la completé, ya hice el examen y todo. Lo único, teacher, que en la tarea número 17, eh, por más que le ponga la respuesta a dos preguntas, me da error. Y sinceramente, yo sí creo que estoy en lo correcto en cuanto a la respuesta. Eh, pero no sé cuál será el problema, porque tenemos que agregar la parte de eh, el, el to be, going to y el verbo. Sí. Entonces, pero me da error cuando trato de llenar la número 3 y la número 4. Entonces ya por más que lo pongo en minúscula, por más que le agregue o le quite, no sé en qué estará fallando. Pero sí, es lo único que, que me falta como para terminarlo. Eh, no sé si ahí me podría ayudar usted a, a, a chequear. Okay. Lo único que dice que es la 17. Sí, es la tarea número 17 
y son las preguntas número 3 y la 4. My sister, TV, y entre paréntesis está to watch. Y okay. se le tiene que agregar eh, be, going to, y el verbo. Ay, dale, dale. Hold on, let, let me see. déjenme ver ahorita si puedo darle así rapidito antes de que se me vaya. Por favor, gracias. Lo único que si es la 17... Eh, no hemos llegado a una esa porque ahorita estamos justamente en la número 15. La, de, la 17 sería eh, al día vamos a ver, 15. Sería para el viernes, la 17. Ok, sí, lo que pasa es que yo trato de avanzar eh, okay, okay, sobre claro. ciertos temas que... Sí, okay. permítanme, de una vez le voy a dar la orientación. Ok. Para mientras he compartido con el resto de la clase un link para poder hacer un ejercicio. Ok, déjame sí, disminuyendo. Ok, ahora vamos a ver. Sí, yo sé que es duro, eh, que todos necesitamos unos más que otros. Bien, por A o B, yo ya lo mencioné, no hay problema. Ok, me dijo tarea 17. Sí. Eh, en la pregunta número 3 y en la 4. My sister, TV, y entre paréntesis, to watch, y la 4, you a picnic ah, next Thursday ah, to have. Ah, ok. Entonces, yo lo tengo como is going to watch TV y la 4 la tengo are going to have. Pero me sale error. Ok, permítame. Ok. Play the sentence y use the form of speed going to black bear in brackets. Ok, ¿cómo la tiene? Me dice. La tengo la 3. Eh, is, is going to watch TV. Ok. Y la cuatro la tengo como are going to have. Y el detalle es que todas las demás sí las tengo buenas. Are going to play, is going to phone, is going to go. Solo esas dos que me dan error y no sé por qué será. Es la tres. La tres y la cuatro. No, no, okay. Pero dígame la respuesta que tiene. La tres... Is going to watch TV. Is going to watch TV. Y la cuatro are going to have. Pero la inicial la pongo en mayúscula, me da error, la pongo en minúscula, me da error, entonces... Okay, uh, lo que voy a hacer es que voy a hacer una prueba el día de mañana y le aviso, le, le escribo, un, me manda un mensajito porque sí estoy bien. Ok. Sí. Ok, Así perfecto. Para, para estar seguro de cuál es lo que está, cuál es el error que está ahí. Porque a veces con una palabrita que, que, que esté eh, configurada de otra forma, entonces ya la respuesta que uno da ya no tiene. Sí, ok. Ok, perfecto, teacher. Thank you. Ok, ok, don't worry about it. Okay. Don't forget to send me a message in order to remember. Ok, ok. Ok, no se lo olvide, por favor. Ok, ah, les había enviado por ahí. Bueno, ya vamos a concluir con el tiempo que teníamos. Eh, lo que nos hace falta es muy poco. Agradecerles por eh, la paciencia. Eh, había compartido con ustedes un enlace sobre una actividad. Ahora no hay que ver finish. Ya terminó el que ver finish. Hello. Did you finish? No teacher. No teacher. No okay. You are still working there.
Okay, let us continue then. Okay, let me know some more seconds. I forgot to call by name again. Bueno, para los que aún eh, están por acá, thank you. I'm going to mention your names in order that can break up there. Thank you, Don Jose Alemán is there. Uh, Gabriela, Gisela, Sara Lopez, Kenji, Natalia, Edwin, Mercedes, Cecilia, eh, Héctor. Carlos Amirka, Sergio y América Elizabeth Cruz. Okay, yes, uh, too many more and we are going to finish by seeing them. Okay, yes, so now you finish with this activity. Just let me know, please. Okay, tell me if you finish. Not yet. No. Not yet, teacher. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Teacher, ya casi ya no tengo carga en mi teléfono. Hey, Gisela, tranquila, no, no se preocupe, ya el tiempo eh, han hecho muy, algo muy valioso eh, para beneficio de, de ambos, ¿no? Así es que si por algo sí. objetivo, quien ya no puede estar, lo comprende, no se preocupe. Sí, lo, de hecho, lo, lo último que, que estarían viendo, yo lo vería mañana por la mañana, porque como que han grabado las clases. Yes. Sí, solo es un ejercicio más el que nos hace falta. Va, está bien. Pero, no pero sí, ya, ya el tiempo creo que nos da para... Porque voy a tener que unir la parte 1 con la parte 2. Okay. Y, así, y así ya no repetir eh, la sesión, porque yo sé que ya cada uno de ustedes está programado y dice tal día terminamos y las actividades que ya las tienen ahí, entonces... Es por eso que les pedí eh, sacrificarnos a ambos para que todo nos funcione de la mejor manera. Pero eh, comprendo las situaciones, porque en el caso de ustedes posiblemente tienen que atender también a su esposo, a sus hijos. Y así es. <risa> yes. sí, no, van a ir a trabajar mañana. Sí, claro, también. Entonces es, es comprensible, así es que... I apologize for that. Okay, teacher. Ahí, sí. ahí, la, ahí la culpa fue de la plataforma Zoom. <ríe> y yes. y de, de repente dice que nos falló a varios compañeros. Quizá, a lot of mistakes. <ríe> yes. Don't okay. worry. Okay, okay. okay. No. okay. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay. See you. Take Take care. Care. Good, good night. Good night. Yeah. Partner, bless you, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, let me see the time that I got now. Okay, let us finish uh, this activity. And, well, it's up to you, but uh, I would like to finish with this. Vamos a concluir con la siguiente, así rapidito, para que ya no nos vayamos, por favor. Ahí pueden dejar en el tintero la que teníamos. Yo creo que es poco lo que hace falta. So, let us finish with this. Let us do it uh, together in order that we can do it in a hurry. Okay, this is the last activity. Uh, so, we need to classify this uh, salutation and closing into formal and informal. Let us classify. If you want, uh, we can check it right here. We can put a tick and an X to the one that is going to be in informal. And a tick in the one that is going to be formal. It's up to you. Un chequecito para los formales y una X para los informales. We can do it now, please. And, and that way we are going to finish. And I do really appreciate your help. Wow. Bueno, la mayoría de mis compañeros ya están contentos porque han logrado cubrir el tiempo. And that is pretty good. Okay, uh, let us start doing this. Uh, what about CU? Do you consider this formal or informal? Hola. Informal. Informal teacher. Okay, let me do what I said. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me do this. Okay, we are going to put the next. Okay, this is informal. What about hey? Informal teacher. Informal two. Um, what about what's up? Informal. Is it forward to you? Uh, hello, mister. Hello, miss. Formal. Formal. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yes.
Okay, I need to switch. I'm going to put it here. Okay, it's gonna be this one. Okay, what about my best? My best. Formal or informal? Try to remember, try to remember. Okay, let us continue. Morning. Formal. Formal or informal? Formal. Only say in the morning? Informal, teacher. Ah, because the right way is to say good morning. Good morning, formal. Okay. Okay, this is going to be this one, and now uh, it's going to be this one. What about best regards? Formal. Okay, this is formal. Okay, let me put this stick here. And what about things? Informal. And this is informal. And so so? Informal. Informal too. Okay. Well, we already finished. I'm going to stop chatting. Thank you very much. I do really appreciate your help. In order to avoid repeating the section. Bueno, les agradezco mucho el haberse quedado hasta esta hora. Yo sé que es un sacrificio bastante grande. Eh, pero eso nos hace no repetir la sesión. Por lo tanto, thank you very much. Good night and take care and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have bye. a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. You too. Tomorrow, tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Okay, bye. Night bye. Tomorrow. Okay. As you saw during the video, it uh, was really difficult for us today because suddenly we lost uh, the connection with the platform soon. For that reason, we had to stay in uh, this uh, time. But we covered all the topics that we plan to cover. So, um, what I would like to add is just uh, some comment related with uh, the review. It, uh, I consider that when we uh, make a review related with the topic that we already have started during the week, it's really important because some uh, student or got some uh, important tips related with some topics. And at the moment that they are uh, resolving the exercises, they realize that they need to take a look again of the material in order to keep in mind what they need to know exactly about that. So in this case, um, what I'm going to do is just to add the third one in the second video in order to have the right time and I do really appreciate your help. Thank you very much and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.